Hey there everyone, today I'll be showing off some of the more popular mods that change the look and feel of Stardew Valley. I made a video before covering my top 10 mods that I used on my farm, but this will be more of a general showcase where I will cover some of the more interesting mods out there that basically change the experience you have in the game, making it feel like a brand new game. So let's get started. The first one that we will cover is the Dynamic Nighttime mod. This mod is really amazing, which changes the game adding a more dynamic daylight cycle, changing when it gets dark and even adding a dawn at the start of the day. It also adds a full light cycle, adding a sunrise and sunset effect and these times will also vary depending on the time of year. This makes the game feel more active where you can feel the night slowly creep in until you can even barely see your character. For me, this is really interesting since you have to use torches and lamps in order to properly see on the farm and elsewhere as well. Waking up in the morning to a dark room really sets the mood for an early start of the day. And since I started using this mod, I can't go back to the vanilla version of the game though. The next one that we have works really good with the dynamic nighttime mod and it's the dynamic reflections mod. This one, as the name suggests, adds mirror and water reflections in Surrey Valley. This mod introduces quite a lot of features where you can see your reflection in the water around the valley, puddles that generate during and after rainy days, which are both reflective and splashy, reflections of the stars and passing comets found in bodies of water in the evening hours, but only during a non-rainy days. These two mods work hand in hand to give you a more realistic feel to Stardew Valley and I just love both of these. We also have the Medieval Buildings mod, which changes the buildings on the farm to a more medieval look. The buildings take on a pure white aesthetic with some amount of plant overgrowth to them, which gives them a rustic look. It's a really unique mod for those that enjoy this type of architecture, so anyone interested in it can look it up on Nexus mods. And for all of you out there that like the original aesthetic of the farm buildings in Stardew Valley, there is Ale's Seasonal Buildings mod. This mod keeps the general outline of the old farm, but adds three building themes. A more colorful, varied set, a full brick set and an all-white set. It also has eight different styles of farmhouses, rustic, manor, stained glass, cabin, greenhouse and vanilla, cottage and lodge. It has so many options to choose from, making the farm buildings have a fresh new look to them and you can just enjoy the game with them. Another mod that I quite like is Ale's Town Animals. This mod replaces nearly every creature in Stardew Valley, from the butterflies to the birds and even the bear in the cinder sap forest, and the frog on the ginger island farm. I like these kinds of mods since it adds more variety of the wildlife that you pass and interact with on a daily basis. It has a lot of different options for kinds of butterflies, town birds, seagulls, squirrels and much much more. And you can even change the hat mouse's color which is quite fun. Changing the look of the game doesn't have to be only in the outdoors. The Oasis Greenhouse mod adds more room and facilities to your greenhouse, making it the perfect peaceful area to enjoy and escape from your spouse in the game. You get a garden for fruit trees, a wine cellar for kegs and a hiddenish basement cave with a minecart link making travel much more easier. And let's not forget a spa for energy region. This is a perfect addition to anyone wanting to expand their greenhouse, to include more room for trees and also to make the perfect hidden cave where you can escape and relax from the daily farming chores. The next mod that I wanted to showcase is one that changes the palette of Stardew Valley, and that is Daisy Nikos Earthy Recolor. I use this mod on my playthroughs and I really enjoy it all the time. It edits all the outdoor tile sheets and even includes new custom trees, grass and even the artifact spots which are changed to look like a four leaf clover. You can change this in the setting of the mod though if you don't want the new look and you want the old artifact spot look so that's a good option to have. The color is really mild and it makes the game look much more better. Another mod that I like is the Wildflower Grassfield mod. 
This mod adds a total of 52 new grass plus flower variations for all of the 4 seasons in Sardi Valley, aiming to achieve a natural looking grass field. Each season comes with 13 different grass types including winter grass which will make your animals really happy in the winter, where they won't starve and we won't have to rely on the evil Marnie for food. She really hates us though, always away from the counter and even escaping the counter just as we walk in her shop, leaving our poor animals to starve. If you enjoy the weather system in Stardew Valley, there is a mod that expands on it as well, and that is the Climates of Ferngill. This mod changes the climate system of the game to be more robust, adding more custom weathers which can be quite interesting and unique. It adds variable rain, fog and blizzards, which can affect the difficulty of the game. Blizzards can turn into a complete whiteout where you won't be able to see anything out there, making it really difficult to move and work on the farm. The shorelines can also have fog creep in, which I think a lighthouse would be needed to stop any ships going aground near the shores. And when I installed the mod, it made me wonder why there hasn't been a lighthouse in the game already. And that's where maybe Willy broke the ship, we don't know. But also maybe magic has a part in it, since magic is alive in the world of Stardew Valley. And the last mod that I use for my playthroughs, but it's quite simple and fun, is the Wind Effects mod. This mod allows wind to blow through Stardew Valley, affecting your crops, trees, grass and bushes, where they will sway when blown by the breeze. It also adds flying leaves around, so it makes the world feel much more alive. This mod is quite simple and doesn't change anything else in the game, but for me it's still quite fun to have. Adding more life to the game makes it feel like a brand new experience, where everything in the game is more active and not just a static picture. But everyone, that's it for today's video. Those were the 10 mods that I find really interesting to use in Stardew Valley, which change the overall look to the game and making it feel a bit more alive. I enjoy mods like this because they make the game feel like a brand new experience and to be honest, after I used some of these mods, I couldn't go back to the vanilla style of the game, since I really enjoyed the look and feel of Stardew Valley with the mods. You can check all of these on Nexus mods and I will leave the names of the mods in the description below so you can find them easily. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you would like to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel so you get notified of my future updates. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.